Let's chat. Something really, really neat's on the way to town. It helps out a really, really good cause, and that's the Chattanooga Music Economy, and we're going to expand on that here in just a couple of minutes. We have Cassie Coleman is here. Kathy, good morning. Tell me who you are with. Uh, I work for Hutton & Smith Brewing Company. You we're, work for Hutton & Smith. Yes, sir. We're a local brewery. Yes, you certainly are. And next, introduce us to your friend down here on the far end of the stage. <laughs> this is Monica Kinsey. Hi, Monica. Hello. We know Monica. Remember her from the when we did the uh, shoot at the Choo Choo. How long ago was that, Jess? Around July 4th. July 4th. Yeah. That's July. right. And the one and only Stratton Tingle, who is still helping live the life he loves. Stratton, good to see you, buddy. Thanks for having us. Hey, um, the first Rails and Hops Brewer Festival. That tell was me, last year. So this is our second. This is number two. This is our number second two. ever. All right, tell yep. me what's going on with this. I was unable to attend the one last year, yep. and I talked to several people who did, and they said it was just out of the park good. Oh. Yeah, so it's it's a brewer's festival. We have over 35 breweries come to the choo to the gardens at the Chattanooga Choo Choo, mm -hmm. and uh, we have a number of local bands who perform, and uh, it's a big party. Uh, attendees get a five ounce tasting mug and they can taste all of the beers that are there. Uh, every brewer brings at least two, two options. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Two to four. Uh, so we have, you know, somewhere around 70 beers on tap. Wow. And uh, it's really cool. It's great for people who are into home brewing or just enjoy beer or and also enjoy music. So yeah. it's kind of got something for everyone. Monica, you guys have just really um, polished up the choo-choo and what you've done as far as entertainment, food, beverage, and everything is concerned. Talk about knocking it out of the park. Thank you. And I know this is kind of a continuing work in process for you guys, right? Correct. What are you most looking forward to about having the Rails and Hops Brewers Fest come to the Choo Choo? Well, we love to, um, you know, really share the gardens with the city of Chattanooga. That's one of the uh, deals when we were re going through this metamorphosis of the Choo Choo is we, we feel like a lot of the city doesn't understand that we have two acres of gardens that are open to the public. They're not just for tourists, they're right. for Chattanoogans as well. And so we've been trying to schedule more events there in town so people are exposed and see the beauty of the gardens. We've mm -hmm. added more green space. Um, we've added more like electrical inputs and water features and so on. So we've just really put more infrastructure in for events, which allows it to make it more easier for us to have events like Roland Hops to uh, benefit nonprofits such as Soundcore. As beautiful yeah. as the Choo Choo was, you guys have really just given it a breath of fresh air. Absolutely. Oh, well, thank you. you. That to, means the world. You are to be commended thank from you. someone who's been going to the Choo Choo for many, many years. You guys Thank you. Um, my husband does a lot of it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, say. you tell him what to do. I'm sure you do the, I'm there. You do the delegating, right? <laughs> yes. All right, Cassie, tell me where Hutton and Smith comes into play on this. Um, I, I'm not really sure. I just am here. Um, <laughs> well, let's make something up. If you had your I own can, dream job for this. this, what would it be? Um, yeah. uh, well, we're a local brewery. We've been around for just over four years, um, and we've gotten to work with them. So I guess our second year working mm -hmm. with them. Right. Um, so we'll be... They've got, they're bringing two there. special we beers. We do have two beers. What kind are you bringing? Uh, Tell me what? about them. Um, okay, so we have two different locations. We have a larger scale production facility over off of Amnicola, right. kind of in that industrial complex. But we also have on MLK our tap room, mm -hmm. um, and there's a seven barrel system there. So we're able to produce kind of one off small batch beers. Tell me what kind of beers you're going to be taking to the Rails and Hops Fest. All right, so both these beers come from the seven barrel system. Uh, they use the same yeast. It's called a Kvike yeast, um, and that's just Norwegian for yeast. So we're going to have a New England style IPA with that yeast, and then we also have a sour with passion fruit puree. So two totally different things, but it's kind of cool because you get to see what you can do with like one style of yeast, sure. like the versatility of something like that. All right, Stratton, and we said earlier, this goes to benefit the Chattanooga music economy. That's and right. You've been a musician around here for a long, long yeah, time. Yeah, for sure. Tell me exactly how this is gonna help benefit the musicians locally. Yeah, so Soundcore is the charity that this, that this event raises uh, funds for, and all of our programming helps local musicians and local music industry professionals to build their careers. So a lot of what we do is hold classes on helping people to advance their careers through business training. Mm -hmm. We obviously offer a lot of uh, performance opportunities. We run uh, programs like Sidewalk st Stages, our street performance initiative, and uh, try to help build audiences for music here in Chattanooga as well. And you know, the amount of music talent we have from this building here on South Broad Street 50 miles in any direction as the crow flies. It's Absolutely. pretty amazing per it is capita. Amazing. Absolutely. Uh, and, you know, at one time it was widely recognized throughout the United States and throughout the world that Chattanooga was really a music mecca and a great music city. And our vision is to reestablish Chattanooga and that, and that dominance in music uh, for our locals. So, so we stopped bleeding off that talent to other cities like Nashville right. <coughs> and Chicago and Atlanta. 
and uh, we, we focus on this grassroots effort, which is why you see all local bands uh, featured at Rail and Hops Brewers Festival this year. Which again, having it all local here, I think is a big key element in making this a huge success. And of course, the Juchu, everybody knows exactly where that is. You can't miss it. And this is going to be going on throughout the entire complex, but centered in the garden area. Mainly in the gardens, yes. Well, uh, when these folks approached you about doing the Brewers Fest or the Rail and Hops Brewers Fest this year, what made you say yeah? Because I heard there wasn't a whole lot of questioning about it. You immediately went. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, I've I've been a founding board member of Soundcore since its uh, inception, and I'm mm -hmm. still very active with Soundcore. And mm -hmm. I just really thought that it was you know beer and music seemed like a perfect fit. Sure. And And you know I think it's very important uh, to support our local musicians and to help retain them and sustain them in our city because as you said we have a wealth of talent we certainly do and you're going to be seeing more of that talent right here on this show over the coming weeks so uh cassie monica stratton I want to thank you all for coming down and sharing a little bit about this with us quickly the particulars on the fest itself it's saturday august 24th from six o'clock to ten o'clock mm -hmm. and tickets are available at www.relandhops.com and don't wait around because this is coming up this Saturday. Go mm -hmm. ahead and make your plans for it. The weather's going to be a little bit cooler, so it should be really nice. And it kicks off at 6 this coming Saturday. That's right. Yes, right? sir. You can get tickets online. Um, we advise that you get them early so you don't have to wait in line. Yeah, absolutely. You definitely want to do that. My thanks again to the three of you. And Stratton, Thank keep you. up the good work on the music. Thanks so much. Uh, this guy single-handedly is one of the biggest ambassadors, I think, for live music and entertainment we have here. That's great. Thank Glad you. Glad to have you here. Thank you. Stick around. We have more of Let's chat coming up right after this.